Hey guys, Dower here. I got up this morning, came out to this. I have a flat tire. I actually have already found the culprit, the problem. Um, there was a nail embedded into it and I already pulled that out and threw it away. And then of course I got the bright idea that, hey, maybe some of the guys on YouTube might like to see this. So I'm gonna walk you guys through how to properly uh, take care of your tire and put some slime into it. So first thing you'll need is a jack. Gonna need some way of getting some air. Got an air compressor here. Gonna need a foot chuck so you can put air into it. Need a bottle of slime. I've got 16 ounces left in here. And you technically can use this little plastic tool, but I, I've got my own valve, valve core tool. So the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and jack the, tr jack, jack the vehicle up. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna block the wheel block the vehicle. <clears throat> so the first thing you do before ever jacking up a vehicle is make sure it's secured. I have a wheel chalk here. I'm going to kick up behind. I do have the e-brake on, or the parking brake on, and I do have the vehicle in gear. But still, you want to chalk it. Once the vehicle is secure, you can begin jacking it up. Not quite high enough. So the next thing we'll do is we want to take the valve stem out so this would be the point where you'd inspect your wheel find out where the problem is um, I actually like I said I pulled a little nail out already and the tire seemed to seal fine I put uh, air into it last night but it leaked down again overnight so we're gonna go ahead and remove the valve stem seal just unscrews don't lose the valve stem steel and don't let it get dirty and we'll wait for the tire to completely deflate If you read the back of the label here, it'll tell you trucks and SUVs take 20 ounces and cars and trailers take 16 ounces. So if you look at this, it's a 255, 50, 17. That's pretty much a car tire size. So we're going to do this as a car tire and I'm going to put the remaining 16 ounces into here. Now it's very easy to do that. The hose would have come right here. You just take the cap off of this, it unscrews, you put the hose on there. You place the hose with no valve core in there over the valve stem and then you simply insert just squeeze it in and don't be surprised it will take a little while to get all of it into it and usually once I've squeezed enough I'll kind of suck some air back into it and add some more Okay, now once you have all your slime in, I like to rotate the tire a couple of times just to kind of spread the slime around in there. Now you probably already noticed this is a whole lot more work than say a can of fix a flat. It's pressurized that you just, you know, push a button and it fills your tire for you. Well, the reason for that is fix a flat, in my experience, does not work nearly as well as slime does. This stuff works very very well. We'll go ahead and put our valve stem seal back in and we'll screw it back down in place. All right. 
now we will inflate the tire just as you normally would Five and a half, that'll work for me. I usually run about 36 pounds of pressure in my front tires. Now, the key with slime is that you immediately want to get out and drive this down the road. What that will do is as you drive down the road, it will fling the slime, and wherever it's trying to leak, the slime will go in there and plug that up. They say it'll plug up to a quarter inch hole. If you have that kind of hole, you either, you can do a patch on it if you absolutely have to get by for now, um, but I definitely would not recommend just using slime on something like that. Put an actual plug in it. I have no plug in this tire because, like I said, when I filled it, I sprayed it down, and I had no bubbles forming, so I'm not sure where it's leaking. The slime will fix that. So we'll bring our truck back down. Remove our block. I'm going to head out for a drive.